What's up guys, welcome to Daily Refinement. In today's video, we're gonna go over the Rolo wireless printer. And as you guys know, my main office, I have four of the wired version, but I'm pretty excited about the wireless version because you can print from mobile. We're gonna go over today what's in the box, how to set up the Rolo app, and how to actually print from your phone. So I appreciate you guys. Please smash the like button, consider subscribing. We'll see you inside. Let's start with what's in the box. The first thing obviously is the Rolo printer itself. Now remember, Rolo printers don't actually use ink. It's a thermal printer, so you'll never need ink for a thermal printer. That's the main reason why I have these in my office. So you get the Rolo printer, you get the power adapter, you get the wired cord in case you wanna use this as a wired printer, you can. It comes with the quick setup guide. It comes with this little chart for if there's troubleshooting that needs to be done, it will tell you what colors mean what issue. It comes with the instruction guide and it comes with a couple of labels that do a couple of test prints. But I use generic labels with Rolo, which is nice because some brands require you to use proprietary labels and Rolo does not. So I just get these cheap fan fold labels off of Amazon. Pretty straightforward. And this setup should only take a few minutes and we're gonna go over that next. Okay, we're gonna set up the wireless Rolo printer in real time and see how long it takes. So we're gonna plug this in first. And so step number one is turning the Rolo printer on. Remember, it also has a power switch right here, just like the wired one. So we'll go ahead and turn this on. It'll take a few seconds to set up. In the meantime, we will download the Rolo app. So I'm gonna open up the camera on my phone, hover over this QR code, click on the pop-up and it will take me to Rolo.com. It'll ask you to select whether or not you have, or whether you have a Google or an Apple phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this from the Apple store download the app onto my, onto my phone. I'm gonna click the open app now and it says, let's set up your Rolo. So in this screen, you can also set up the shipping manager, but we're gonna do that after we set up the printer. So now I'm gonna click on start. So Rolo would like to use Bluetooth. It's asking me to turn the Rolo printer on. Once this wireless uh, icon here turns solid white, I believe now it's ready to pair. So while it's looking for this device, I wanna point out that you can actually plug this into your computer using this wire and just click the add printer or scanner function on your computer to add this like a traditional uh, printer. But what we're doing right now is actually trying to set it up to either a phone or a tablet. So you would need to connect the Wi-Fi manually. So I'm pretty excited to see this because this is the main functionality. So now it's popped up. We're gonna go ahead and click the Rolo device and try to pair. So it's connecting now to the Rolo printer. It says it's looking for the Wi-Fi network. So the Rolo printer actually prints via a Wi-Fi network, not Bluetooth. So you need to be connected to the same Wi-Fi on your phone or your computer, and the printer needs to also be on that Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter in the password for my Wi-Fi and connect. It says here there's no driver installations needed, which is great. That means that you don't need to download anything. You can just immediately use your printer by connecting to the same Wi-Fi device, which is very cool. So we'll give this a few seconds. Um, this troubleshooting card I'm gonna put away because it looks like we don't need this anymore. We're gonna join the Wi-Fi. Let's see. It's saying internet connection is available. Okay. so. A pop-up did come up saying it wasn't available, but it was able to find it again. So don't be afraid to click try again or go through these steps more than one time because it may depend on your network settings and security settings. So now it is set up. It's asking me if I want to print a test label and I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to click test label and it says that the printer is out of paper. So one thing that really helps with Rolo printers is you don't need to actually open the printer to set up the printer labels. You can just feed it through one side. Um, I also want to confirm that these purple divider things, you want to have them a little bit wider. If they're too close, you risk the printer jamming. So make sure that they're fully opened like that. And then you want to give yourself enough space between the printer labels and the printer to give it room to feed and make sure there are no cords or other extraneous things um, in the way and also make sure it's lined up. So let's go ahead and feed one in.
Okay. So what it's doing right there when it's going back and forth is it's calibrating the uh, the sensors for feeding the paper. Um, normally it doesn't take that long. That's probably because we're just barely setting up this printer. It took a few more uh, runs to make sure that it's all set up. There's also an alcohol pad inside the instructions where you can wipe off the sensor, which I, I recommend doing that to maintain your printer. And it's saying here on the sheet, Thank you for setting me up. It's time to sit back and let your Rolo do the work. You'll never have to ink about it. That's nice. So that's all set up now. We printed the test label. It's nice because you don't need to waste the first label on the printer like many printers. So we're gonna put the instructions away. We're gonna put the cord away. And I actually didn't need to open the instruction manual, um, but that was actually pretty straightforward. So now your, your Rolo is actually set up and ready to go. We're gonna test printing a label from the phone. Okay, we're gonna show you guys how to set up the Rolo Shipping Manager on your phone. So when you click on the Rolo app, when you first log in, it's gonna ask you to create an account. That's pretty straightforward, email, name. I didn't share my phone number, but you can with Rolo if you want to. Now we're actually on the quick shipping page. So you need to add a ship from address. I recommend you use your business address. I just typed in the business address of my warehouse. And then you need to add payment for postage. So I recommend maybe testing it out with a small amount. And then if you're comfortable with doing the recurring payment, that's what I sign up for because I want to make sure that I don't have to re-enter in my uh, payment information every single time I create a new label. So I've connected my PayPal um, commerce to this, which is essentially my main website, dailyrefinement.com. I do wholesale orders. So it can actually pull those orders in here and that works for all the e-commerce platforms. So you can connect a selling channel to the Rolo um, shipping manager and pull the orders in, which is very cool. So I'm gonna show you guys how to, quick a, or how to create a quick shipment right now. So if you click on this button, it's gonna ask you the origin code or the origin zip code, which is in this scenario, it's um, my zip code for where my shop is. But let's go ahead and enter in um, 90210. Let's say I'm sending something to Beverly Hills. And I have created some package presets. So um, as an example, I'm gonna do one ounce Pokemon card here and it's gonna go ahead and enter in all of the um, custom things that I have saved that setting. So in this scenario, it's a 12 by nine envelope and it weighs one ounce. So now that I have that preset set in, um, I don't want signature confirmation and I don't need insurance because let's say it's a cheap card and I can click calculate. Now this is probably the coolest part of this shipping manager. It's gonna give you all the options and the full discount. So I can ship this UPS, USPS. I can ship it first class, I can ship it priority. So first class mail is under one pound and it's the slowest form of shipping. Priority is usually two to three days and the express is usually overnight or two days. In this scenario, it says three days, but normally is much faster than that. So it's very, very cool because you can click here the cheapest, you can click here the fastest, and this is actually much easier to use than the actual shipping platforms that the websites have. So it makes sense because Rolo can focus on shipping and labels, while those uh, those e-commerce websites focus on traffic. So pretty simple, once you select what you wanna do, you enter in the label information for where you wanna send, and then click create label. Once you click create label, it'll print on the label and you're done. Very straightforward. A few more things to consider. This is the Rolo Ship Manager app. So from this dashboard, you can schedule a local pickup. So UPS or the post office can actually pick it up right from your house. And remember, this isn't just for businesses. Anybody who's creating even just one label can use this to make a quick shipment and get the discounted rate. So remember here, you can also review all of your different tracking numbers for all your different orders. It's very convenient to have all those orders and all the tracking numbers in one place to review. So there are two links here that you might wanna check out. We'll put them both here. One is information on the actual printer if you want more information on how to set it up or how to order one. And the other link is for the ship manager to go over this ship manager that we just reviewed in more detail. So check out those two links if you want. I have an affiliate link for the Rello in the description below as well. So I appreciate you guys uh, checking out this printer and seeing if it's a good fit for your business. I recommend both the wired and the wireless printer. So I appreciate you guys. Take care.